Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you stick around, so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss a single upload. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can check the description box below for a plethora of important links like where to find me outside of YouTube, like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I do all of my vape giveaways on my social medias because it's not allowed here on YouTube, so I'm not gonna risk doing a sneaky vape giveaway on YouTube when I can just do it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then you have three chances to win versus only one. I also chat with you guys directly on Twitter pretty much every single day and I post to Instagram story all day every day of whatever I'm doing. It's the, it, I use Instagram story like most people use Snapchat. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to see what my other hobbies and interests are and what else I do here on the internet, land you can check out that youtube channel and i have a vape related patreon where the monthly rewards are vape stuff so e-liquid mods accessories etc if any of that interests you just check the description box below the links are all there but let's just jump right into today's video i have the smoant or smount you know, I don't know how to pronounce some of these company names. It'll always be an argument in the vape world. We have the Sharon or Sharon Mini. So I, I did look at the, the original sized one a while ago. I have the mini one here and I do have it in rainbow and I was sent to me from directvapor.com, my favorite place to shop. So don't forget to check it out there at directvapor.com. I love me some rainbow. So this is just the mod, which means I will need a tank to put on it, I believe. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put the mod aside real quick and show you guys what else comes with it. So underneath this bad boy, we also have a micro USB to USB charge cable and we have a quality control card in there. We also have the user's manual and also the warranty card here at the bottom. And then there's a little warning card about battery safety and here is the pretty mod so the rainbow is on the edges we have carbon fiber here and it's kind of like rainbow there on the back or at least it looks like carbon fiber and this back panel is magnetic so that comes off to reveal the battery chamber plus and minus to which direction your batteries will run we have two top magnets and one bottom magnet at the top there is a 510 connection right there then we have the screen on the front the regulatory buttons the charge port or the micro usb port there and a big ridged fire button on the side and on the bottom we have venting holes so let me put some batteries in this mod all right so i've got some batteries in there check out that crazy screen oh my gosh you can see the battery life the ohms that's what it does that is so crazy you can see the voltage puff counter you can see the you can see the power level and what power mode it's in there's a lot going on on this giant screen so this is 88 millimeters high by 45 millimeters in width by 29 millimeters in length is what they're calling it. This does go from one to 225 watts. It is adjustable in 0.1 increments with the regulatory buttons. So I'll show you, we'll go all the way up to 225. This is gonna take a little while. I thought it was gonna go faster. Once you get to 100, you don't have point options like Point one options. Oh, crap. It round robins. Oh my gosh, I could have skipped it from the other way. Anyways, you get the gist, guys. <laughs> it went to 225. It does do temperature control for Ni200, which is nickel, titanium, and stainless steel 316. And the temperature range is 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, or 100 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. So to go to temperature control, you just press the fire button three times, but if you do press it just once, it will say check itemizer, but do it three. One, two, three. And now you're in the menu. Use the regulatory button to go over to temperature control. Use the fire button to select. Then you have nickel, titanium, stainless steel, TCR, or a temperature curve. So that means you can curve the temperature as you're vaping. So we'll just click nickel just to show you guys. It presets to 400 and goes all the way up to 600. 600, oop. 600 and then it round robins to the lowest celsius which is 100 degrees and goes up 
to 300 degrees Celsius and back to round robin to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So back in the selection menu, you can also do settings or change the wallpaper. And if you do go to wattage, back to wattage mode, you have the option to set min, norm, or max, or wattage curve. And I will just do normal because hi, I'm normal, right? And then that level option is displayed right there under the puffs seconds counter. So go into the wallpaper option and you can check all of the wallpapers that they have. It's cool, I guess. There's a cat one, so I'm gonna pick the cat one. And if you go into the settings menu, there is a lot of options there. Brightness, time, display, and screensaver, time out, and factory reset option. You can also use the fire button pressing and holding like a back option. All right, let me get an atomizer to put on top here and we'll vape it up. So I found something that matched perfectly. I've got my UL Fancier RDA atop here, which is also rainbow. So it looks really nice. And let's just fire this baby up. So when you inhale, it does like this little meter does like rev up when you um, press the fire button. So let's I'll show you real quick. Oh, see? <laughs> so here we go. That's only at 30 watts. Wow, do I even want to turn it up? Yes, yes I do. 40 watts. Oh my God, clouds, bitch. Did you guys see that? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a fog machine. That has some power behind it. This is a great combination. I only have a one coil in here. Girl, boy, whatever. This is awesome. The screen is like large, so I do worry about um, cracking. I would hope that it is pretty durable, but since the whole face of it is like this glass, or whatever it's made out of that just makes me nervous for crackage let me tell you the protection features this has though i love it reverse protection reverse battery voltage low voltage protection over time protection so it cuts off after 10 seconds overheating protection overload and short circuit protection love that and it will tell you it would say shorted too hot check battery check atomizer and so that is just on the normal vaping mode i can't imagine how much cloud you would get if you were on the max mode i think this is the biggest cloud production i've gotten off of a device in a hot minute so let's take one more good look at this sexy setup oh, it's just perfect um i'm sure that this has a tank that it can come with as a kit version which you can check on directvapor.com for that as well but i was just sent the mod so i wanted to find something matching which is why i chose my ul fancier i love ul products anyway so it works for me but again you can check out direct vapor for the kit that's d-i-r-e-c-t-v-a-p-o-r.com check for the kit let me know down in the comments below what you think what do you think of this combination i think i did a pretty good job matching matching two companies you know two different companies but the same color scheme so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please learn how you can fight for your right to vape so as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.